Welcome to All Things Mac. I'm your host, Jim Fair. A lot of people download utilities for the Mac without really knowing what it is they're downloading, and it gets them into trouble. So, you know, this video is about a certain utility uh, that at least it had a reputation. And if its, its reputation was this. If you install this utility, uh, and suite of utilities it is now, you ended up with a lot of adware on your system. Your internet search got taken over. All kinds of things are running that you see pop-up windows. So uh, it became associated with malware. Uh, the name of the utility is Mac Keeper and it's heavily advertised. I see ads for it every day. Most annoyingly, one of their ads had a picture of Steve Jobs uh, not too long ago. Maybe Apple made them take it down. I just found that very offensive. And, um, you know, I downloaded it again the other day just to test it and to see what I could f determine about this utility. Is it a legit utility? And they've cleaned up their act quite a bit, but I still can't determine if it's a legit utility unless I pay for it, and I'm not willing to do that. Now, they're not doing anything illegal, uh, and they are apparently, uh, again, according to their reputation, um, ready to uh, initiate lawsuits uh, against anyone who says anything bad about them whatsoever. So, at this point in time, I can't say anything bad about them. Uh, it looks like they've cleaned up their act just on the basis of installing the utility. Uh, it seemed uh, very Mac-like. It looked really nice. Uh, I was able to, as soon as I moved it to the trash, an uninstaller came up and said, hey, would you like me to uninstall the rest of it? And I said, yes, and it seemed to remove itself from my system. The last time I tested it, I tested it on a brand new 13-inch MacBook Pro that had just been formatted with the OS and it identified a ton of problems, had me call their help desk guy, and the guy said, oh yeah, your computer is riddled with problems, you need to buy the software to fix them, and I declined, of course. Now, this time around, it was a little more honest with me. It didn't uh, identify a lot of problems, just a couple of problems. But again, it refused to fix them unless I call and uh, sign up. And uh, its suggested package was like, you know, 100 and some odd dollars uh, for a year's worth of all this stuff that it has that they're bundled together. I would say that this utility falls into the category of utilities you probably don't need to buy. And why don't you need to buy them? So their tagline in their ad is, our Apple certified support professional says, time is money, so don't waste it on cleaning your Mac. There are three steps to do it automatically. And uh, you see the word sponsored, and there's a little dollar sign, and then it says Mac Keeper. Uh, all one word. And there's a picture of a, a dude with a Mac and he's wearing a cool t-shirt and he's got this interesting graphic behind him that makes him look like a brainiac. Um, and if you click on this ad, then you know, you're invited to download the software. You download the software. Uh, there's this little chat thing on the side panel and it wants you to sign up or ask them questions. And, and you know, it, they kind of give you a bit of a hard sell if you even phone them. And, um, you know, I've done this before. I've tested it before. So, you know, from, from what I can see without paying them a dime, uh, their software is, has been greatly improved. But uh, would I recommend it? No. Uh, does that mean there's anything wrong with it? No. But why do you need it anyway? You know, people obsess about clean and purging and deleting things. And, oh, I have a messy desktop. Will that slow down my machine? And, you know, 25 years ago, yeah, a messy desktop could slow down your machine because every time the Mac goes to paint a picture of the desktop, it has to pull up the image of each icon and, you know, layer it down on the screen. Today, with the video cards and the video uh, software we have now, 
that's almost instantaneous. So why worry about something that's not really affecting your Mac? If you want to clean your Mac, here's what you do. You do a full backup, you wipe the thing, you reinstall the OS fresh, and then you restore from backup. And that's pretty clean. Uh, the only thing you're not cleaning there is some junk in your library folder, and then you could just leave your library folder behind if you want. It's hidden anyway. So that's the way I would clean up my Mac, and in fact, that's the way I do it. Does this mean you don't need any utilities at all for your Mac? No, but utilities should be something with a specific purpose in mind and uh, a, a specific problem you're trying to solve. So uh, that's my take on uh, Mac Keeper. Uh, as I said, I don't want to say anything negative about them. They did have this reputation, and have they changed? Is their utility valuable? Well, download it, pay for it, and then you tell me. Uh, I'm not willing to take that last step to pay for it. Uh, you know, most apps in my uh, book that are going to be good offer you a free trial. You can try them out for free and decide, hey, yeah, this is useful, or no, it's not. The fact that there's no free trial, uh, for me, is a red flag. So... Although they've uh, really improved the look of their software and the, the uninstaller is built in and, and uh, it, it comes up instantly when you move it to the trash, you know, those are all good things. But does it mean that the software is any good at all? Does it do anything useful? I don't know. I haven't tested it that far and I'm not going to. That's something, you know, the end user would have to do. And again, Based on their reputation, I don't want to go there. But based on what I know about the Mac, there's no real reason to get a cleaning software at all. The short answer is if you want the job done right, do it yourself. And do you need cleaning software for your Mac? Do you need to defragment the drive? No, the OS takes care of all that stuff for you. Just make sure your disk isn't full, okay? Have no more than 80% disk full while you're using your Mac. Archive things you're not using, put them on another drive, have some redundancy in your backups, do a clean install once in a while. And you won't have any of these issues that this type of software promises to fix. So that's my take on Mac Keeper. Thanks for watching, fade out.